Okay guys, Chad from Sticks Blog. We are here at Carver's Gap. Um, you can see the sign there. Sorry about the shaky, it's cold. Anyway, um, this is the start of our hike. We are hiking to Over Mountain Shelter tonight. And uh, as you can see, because of the conditions, rainy, snow on the ground, ice on the ground. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of video today. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. My fingers are already cold. And uh, I'll try to do some video, talk about some things. Uh, we're hiking to Kinkora. We stayed at Kinkora last night. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna get into the details later. I'm gonna get up here and put this away and put me some gloves on. So we'll see ya. Okay guys, um, I'm on, uh, just coming up Jane Bald. You can see the weather's just I hate to say terrible, but it's not the optimum conditions, obviously. Anyway, I came from down the trail that away, and uh, we're headed that away. Um, just met David Poston. Uh, talked with him some before this hike. He was coming up to do a section. Just want to give a shout out to him. It was good to meet him. I hate that I met him in the situation that he did, but uh, he kind of got caught in a, some bad weather last night, so he is hiking back out today. But. Um, Anyway, uh, it was cool getting to meet somebody else, and uh, it was cool too because he was wearing a uh, he was he was wearing a uh, rain kilt too. I've got mine on. Of course, got all my rain gear and stuff out. Kind of cold. Um, anyway, just want to do a quick little video while it's kind of there's not a whole lot of wind right here where I'm at, but it's done turn my umbrella inside out a couple of times. Um, so I wanted to do some video real quick while I could. Um, I'll try to do some more video as I can later, so I'll see you then. Okay, so you can see it's still kind of kind of yucky out here. I think it's going to be this way uh, today, which is Thursday. It's probably about 11 o'clock now, uh, and tomorrow uh, it's pretty much supposed to be the same as this, uh, as far as weather is concerned. Um, and then Saturday it's supposed to start, well, I think some of the clouds and stuff are supposed to move out. Still supposed to be a little cloudy, but maybe maybe we'll get a couple of peaks of sunshine. Of course, the trail is just a nasty mess. This is actually nice. Uh, most of it's got puddles all in it, and, you know, just yucky. Um, so anyway, we are hiking to Kinkora. Um, Kinkora Hostel, some folks might know it as Bob People's Place. Uh, we drove up, stayed there last night. Um, there was three other through hikers, uh, no bows. I think they started around mid-February. They were staying there last night. I think we kind of woke them up when we got there, so kind of feel bad for that. Sorry, guys. Um, we got in probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, anyway, so he gave them a shuttle up to Watuga Lake, and then he uh, shuttled us. We stopped at McDonald's, got some breakfast, and then shuttled us to Carver's Gap. Uh, Bob's pretty cool. Anybody in the area definitely suggest stopping by uh, and uh, maybe staying in his place or getting a shuttle or just you know saying hi, shaking his hand. He's a real cool guy. Um, anyway, so with us today is of course myself, uh, Blake, which has hiked with me before, uh, Dave and Thomas, which did a section with me about a year and a half or maybe even two years ago, um, and then Jeff. Uh, he is his first time we got to hike with him. So, uh, also my buddy uh, Gizmo Joe uh, is planning on leaving work today about two, and then driving up to Carver's Gap and hiking in to meeting us uh, tonight at Over Mountain Shelter. Um, so, I hope he if he comes, I hope he stays safe. It's only 5.8 miles, uh, but in this weather, it's just kind of nasty. Um, so anyway, so we're headed, like I said, to Over Mountain Shelter for tonight. Tomorrow, we're planning on going to Elk River Campground or something like that. It's on the other side of US 19. Uh, tomorrow should be about a 15 mile day. Uh, if weather's just too bad, we can push on another almost three miles tomorrow. Make us an 18, almost 19 mile day uh, to a shelter. I can't remember what the name of it is. And then the next night, we're staying at, well heck, I forgot the name of that shelter. Anyway, and then the uh, Sunday it'll be like a six mile hike back to Kinkora uh, for us to drive home. 
But anyway, uh, temperature wise, it's not super cold, um, but with all the wind blowing, I don't know if you can tell it in the video, but there's a lot of wind blowing. Uh, and it's kind of coming and going, but uh, it's collapsed my umbrella a couple of times. Uh, collapsed Dave's umbrella, he's also carrying an umbrella. And it's just kind of, you know, the wind is making it bad. And then of course with all the, the rain, um, it's just kind of, it's those conditions that kind of suck to hike in. But, you know, I'm still excited to be out here. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the hike. And uh, everything's going good so far. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put this up. Fingers are starting to get kind of cold again. And uh, I'll probably do some more video once we get to Over Mountain Shelter. So, um, until then, we'll see ya. Okay guys, uh, we are at Over Mountain Shelter. I'm standing inside the shelter right now. And we came from that direction, so the AT is actually up there. Uh, and then that would be headed northbound, and that would be back headed southbound. So just kind of show you, most of the clouds and stuff you can see. you can see I don't know how well you can see that stuff blowing through there but we do have a good shot of the valley for the moment look at that Isn't that awesome it's pretty cool um, so anyway this um, we actually collected the water source the main water source is down that way but we actually got this water from right there in that little pipe and uh, I'm not gonna go out too far but this is the red barn um, and then this is the breezeway, of course. Uh, and then you can go upstairs there. I can't get good lighting on film, so I'm not going to film much up there, but I do have some pictures. Uh, these are the platforms out here that you can stay in. And then this over here is headed towards, I don't know if you can tell, but the privy is right back there. And uh, just some more shots. So anyway, um, just doing a little video, I'm going to try to take some pictures and uh, then I'm going to put this up. I've got my down pants and everything on, uh, trying to dry out my gloves and the socks and my shoes that I wore today somewhat before I crawl into bed at night. And also I need to go and use the privy, however that privy is only three sided, it doesn't have a roof. So I'm kind of putting that off, see how things go on that. Um, but anyway. Um, so this is it. Uh, hopefully the weather is going to clear up some tomorrow. So if it does, I'll be able to get some more video. Um, there's some information here. Uh, we actually came from Carver's Gap. So. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to take some pictures and I'll see you next time I turn it on. All right, uh, Blake just pointed this out. I didn't notice it, um, and I don't know how well you can see it. I don't have zoom, obviously, but it's pretty cool because right up there on that ridge line, you can see where the the ice and stuff is still in the trees. You can see how it's still icy. It's kind of white up there, and of course down here it's not quite so much. But that's just pretty cool. I thought I'd point that out, and hopefully it shows up in the video. And again, still you can see the clouds. Maybe you can. You can see the clouds just moving through. It's a uh, pretty ridiculous how it is but it's it's awesome it's good to be out here uh, this is an awesome place that's a I mean that's where I was wanting to camp for the night but with this weather um, the, the way the winds blowing and everything I'm we're staying up in the shelter so uh, that's it okay I'm turning it off for real this time